Alrighty y'all, what's up? Chris Tal I mean, sorry, Preston Glaze here. We are driveway week 13. Um, it's a speed loop, nice and fast. Oh, oh look, there is Phil Guyman. He was in town doing some stuff with Flow Bikes and also raising money for charity No Kid Hungry. Um, so he came out to the driveway series. It was uh, pretty awesome. So I'm going to do exactly what Chris does because it's kind of intriguing at times. So yeah, um, oh, just cut. I guess this is when, oh, I decided, you know what, it might be time to move up. It's kind of getting strung out. Uh, a lot of heavy hitters are towards the front and I don't want to miss out. And oh look, Dan's wheel is available. So I just go right onto Dan's wheel. Thank you, Scott, for just letting me have that. There goes Devin on the tack. On the left, um, these guys go, and I was like, come on. All right, there we go. Jump. Boom. Just stay on the wheel and get a free ride. I mean, obviously, it's a decent bit of power. It's no tolly watts, but... And then a little bit later, and there is Auntie Carolyn waving for me, signaling for me to follow her. She launches me across to this move. Um, if she hadn't done that, I probably would not have made this gap right here because I didn't realize it was splitting at the time, but she saw that and motioned for me and boom, thank you, Carolyn, for launching me across and boom, took the inside because fast. Uh, and here goes Phil. It's starting to split up, so, and I was also getting some GoPro footage for some flow bike stuff, so I tried to follow him around or have him on my wheel as much as I could. All right, here he goes. He just counters right around and is bridging up to these couple guys up here. I can't remember who it is that's up here. But yeah, Phil, um, I was just trying to get as much footage of him with my GoPro as possible so that we can have plenty to use in the edit later, which look out for that on Flow Bikes. Uh, it'll be coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, plenty of different pieces, and including one on the driveway, and then also his uh, worst retirement ever video will go out on his channel. So, okay, Ian Anderson up here, and Sheehan it looks like. And Sheehan looks back and sees that Phil and I came across with, I think there was maybe one or two others that came with us, and so he just starts drilling it, because we had a gap. And um, this, was, this was pretty early on in the race. I think it happened like 15 minutes in. All right, cut to uh, me, invisible arrow bars blocking the camera. But basically, uh, we were driving it super hard for the first bit of this race. So we had Ian Anderson, and that's Austin Robertson, and Sheehan, and Phil, and myself. And at this point, it was just us up there, but then we had some more people bridge across. Um, you'll see them very shortly. Mm. There we go. I'm just kidding, it's midday, I'm drinking water. Okay, so there's Lucas, Ian Anderson, all right, we got this kid, Christian Deschamps. He's freaking strong. Um, I don't know who the guy from, I can't remember that team. Um, there's also Mike Reyna made it up to the group. We got Sheehan, Dilly is there. Um, and then we got Christopher, uh, Christopher St. Peter from Meteor. And then Scott Vegeberg's there and Dave Wanger came across. And he's actually riding one of our Elbows bikes because this was right before Tulsa Tough, so he was going to ride on the Specialized to get used to it because that's what he was racing on at Tulsa. So anyways, it is a group of hitters. Um, the brake is stacked. It swelled even a little bit more after this, or this might be the whole thing. Um, and it, we were just driving it, so there was no the field would have had to chase super hard, and most of the firepower from the field was up here. So. Dave swung off. He likes to do as little work as possible, and I should probably take more of a cue from him because I learned that when I was on Squadra, but also sometimes I can't help myself. So here goes Sheehan on the attack, and so we just have to, boom, I had just come off the pole also, so I was kind of hurting, but um, Phil also went on an attack earlier in the race, he was out there for a good few laps solo, but then we ended up reeling him back in and then Sheehan countered not long after. So this was Sheehan's counter. Um, and we decided instead of like, because none of us were on his wheel immediately, instead of trying to attack and jump across to him, we all just worked together to reel him back in. 
Um, all right, here we go. Another point in the race. Um, we're just rolling along. We got a massive gap um, about halfway in. And so then we were not riding as hard. Oh, this is what happened. I was going to... These guys... Ian was looking a little tired. Yeah, Ian Dilly was looking a little tired, so I was kind of being mean. I uh, sat off the back, waited. He was not going to go, and then I just jumped around, made them both, both Ians, and forced them to jump um, instead of having a nice smooth jump back on. And then Dave also um, jumping back on there. But I was feeling good at that point. I was on the limit for the first 30 minutes of the race, but then I started to settle into a good pace. Um, and then it was just a nice, um, fast, steady rotation for a while. It wasn't a very, like, it wasn't, there was nothing crazy. It wasn't a bunch of massive attacks or anything. Oh, this, this was funny. I told Christopher, I was like, hey, I need to get on Phil's wheel. I need to film some more of him. I need to get some footage. And he, like, didn't understand. And so I kind of had to force my way in there. But it was just to get Flow Bikes footage. So, you know, anything to get the clip. Um, I think that's all that happened here. It's just a smooth breakaway. Worked really well together. Surprising for how big of a break it was um, that it stayed together for that long. This is where this is where my mistake happens. So I pull through, and you can see like wait, you're you're pulling hard. You try and do like basically it should be like an over under workout where you're on the front, you're definitely going over threshold. And here I flick my elbow, and Phil was on my wheel. He didn't pull through, so I was like, oh. Okay, like I'll just pull to the bottom to the bottom of the corkscrew. It'll make more sense there. So then I pick it back up, coming in here, and then I flick my elbow and take. Well, no, I flicked my elbow as I came out of the corner here because I still took the inside line. And then he just, bam, wait for it, boom, there he goes. He just attacked, and I was like, I had set up to drop back, to, and then Lucas was the only one to get on it immediately. Um, there goes Ian, and I was hurting a lot from that last, I had done a pretty big pull after I basically went double the length of time I was planning on. And I was at, and then there goes Wanger and Sheehan, and that Christian kid who was riding insanely strong. And I was trying, trying, trying to climb my way up there. And then I had a couple guys that jumped on my wheel. I was like, don't jump on my wheel, I'm decelerating. I was decelerating when they attacked. Like, y'all should be the ones that jump and I will slowly accelerate back onto your wheel and then I'll pull through. But no, look, Ian couldn't hang, he popped, um, and this was the split for, that was, that was the decisive factor. What I, so in hindsight, I should have not, like, oh, Phil's not going to pull through, I will just keep pulling. I should have just straight sat up and looked at him and, like, waited for him to pull through. Because one, I wouldn't have um, overexerted myself, so I could have responded even if he attacked immediately. And two, um, I would have been able to jump a little bit harder when, if and when he did attack, and yeah. So, then it was just Mike and I, uh, and he was riding real good here. We rotated together for like the last seven laps, but for like three laps, we held them at five seconds, and we could not close it. Um, but we were both so in the red, we couldn't go any harder. I was, I was completely blown just I was I and I told him if they sit up we will get back to them so we have to keep driving it as long as possible but eventually they um, like our pace just slowed because two versus five is obviously not gonna work um, and then they just rode away with it so that was that uh, I jumped Mike for the sprint um, you know no free no free places so that's that all right um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all those other good things like like uh, Tali always says, you know, it'd be nice. More subscribers. Sweet. Bye.